Welcome back, Mustangs. Summer may be over, but there are still some delicious foods out there to quell your back-to-school jitters. I'm Jack Favazza with MHS News, and today we are going to feature some of our best eats from the 2021 to 2022 school year. From boba tea to the best pulled pork on this side of the Mississippi, the St. Louis area has lots of delicious foods to offer. We will love boba tea. Boba tea is fun. It's just fun for the play. We will hang out together. It's just fun for my friend, my family, and I mean everybody. Everybody loves about tea. I think what makes it unique um, from other tea shops around St. Louis is we are premium boba tea in uh, St. Louis. And I want to bring the best quality, everything premium, meaning it has to be organic milk, organic fruit, organic chia seed, the fruit, what we do, everything all organic. So I really worry about High Tea, located on Olive Boulevard in Chesterfield, is a popular boba tea place with pretty decorations and a pleasant environment. General Manager George Ann explains the originality of boba itself and the expansion he hopes to occur here in Missouri. Bubble tea is kind of a big thing in Asia, so we just try to bring the bubble tea and all those uh, Asian fruit and stuff, like the dishes, you know, to this Chesterfield area, you know, because Chesterfield is a nice area, so we want to introduce those uh, bubble tea stuff to this area. Awesome job to Shaman Lens for covering boba tea's rising popularity. If you're looking for a sweet treat to accompany your boba drink, then Sarah's Cake Shop would be an excellent choice. They provide wide varieties of cakes, cookies, and cupcakes that will surely bring a smile to your face. It's a fun atmosphere and um, it's great food, good people, and it's in a good location. My favorite part about working here is probably getting to be around a lot of different like sweet things because I do love cake and it's nice to be able to have a snack or two. <laughs> We've talked a lot about sweet drinks and treats so let's venture into the world of barbecue. Three Bay Barbecue may seem hidden to the naked eye but the quality of barbecue is something that you can't miss. Well we actually were going to start a food truck and we were going to do Cuban cuisine and when we came back we were on vacation we came back Carol and I and we were talking to everybody and they said we should do barbecue because that's what we've done for everybody all throughout the years and they loved it so we decided to do that and we also decided instead of using sauces we would make rubs for everything and use rubs only and uh, that's how it started and we started out with pork steaks and pulled pork and ribs a very small menu like I said we served out of our concession trailer out front and it just kept growing and growing from there um, it's uh, unique in the way that we've created a destination for people to have fresh good barbecue and baked goods. A special thanks to Ben Hughes for finding this hidden gem. If you're still hungry for something savory, head down to the City Foundry to munch on a diverse platter of foods. The City Foundry in downtown St. Louis is a great place to come and shop and try new cuisines. Linda Russell is the general manager of three of the stalls in the Foundry. We have all cultures of life that come in and I love to learn. So when I get to meet a customer that is from a foreign country, I always make sure they never leave my stall without teaching me one word, if it's just to say hi. I would tell someone, like on my Instagram or on my Face page, I always say, please, if you have been everywhere and where in St. Louis, please come down to the St. Louis City Foundry. We have the best food from all culture, all styles that you have never tasted. And on the top it off, I always tell them, there's always something special at each food. After dinner, you may want to grab a quick dessert. The St. Louis area offers a wide selection of frozen treat shops. Here are a few. We wanted to create a space that everyone will feel welcome. Like we will have options that are vegan, gluten free, and we will have options for everyone. I would say that um, us being family owned really does set us apart. Also another thing is that we are a small business. We try to be as kind to our customers as possible. We try to really focus on what the customer wants. And we try to really be helpful to all. I love creating. I love creating new flavors, putting the formula and then tasting to see how it will come out, you know, because when I tried the first gelato, I was like, oh my gosh, this is what I want to do. You know, that's really good. And I love what I do. Like, this is something I really, really like. So it's uh, a long dream that my wife had actually. She was in like sixth grade, she wanted to do a shaved ice business. Um, and it's taken quite a few years to get up to that point, but 
Um, about five, going on six years ago, we were able to actually pull it up and do it. We've said from the beginning, like what we're trying to do is we want to have like the best product and we want to have the best service and the best atmosphere. And a lot of that for us is actually getting out and talking with customers, building relationships. It's fun to see like year over year kids that were like three now coming back and they're like seven or eight. Kids grow up, it's kind of cool. Thanks to Chloe and Katie for their features on St. Louis ice cream. That's a wrap for today's edition of MHS News Summer Grub Highlights. Be on the lookout for our next Highlights video. Until then, I'm Jack Favaza, signing off for MHS News.